Hello! It's that time again. It's Friday and uh, I'm here to chat with you and I have my requisite caffeine and um, what is now becoming my requisite chocolate. Oh, there's so much cherries in it. Um, so here we go. Are you guys excited? I am. Okay, so um, I got a question actually. This one's kind of exciting. Um, I got a question from uh, an email, a reader, asking me, after eight years of marriage, how do you and your husband keep things spicy? You know, like spice things up. Eight years! Can you believe it? I can't. So, I was like, well, that's, you know, that's a little bit of an odd question to ask someone on the internet that you may not necessarily know. Who asks that? Really? Some things there are just no need for you to know. But I just went with it. I'm like, whatever. Um, so I thought I'd answer it for you today. So uh, I have with me various accessories um, that Andrew and I really love and uh, I thought I'd share them with you about how we and how Andrew and I keep things, you know, hot and spicy here. Oh, because you know we do. Okay, so the first thing that um, I really love, though Andrew's not a big fan, is um, cayenne pepper. Uh, I love it. I love hot and spicy things, so cayenne pepper is very important for me. Andrew likes things a little milder, so he's not so a fan, not a big fan of this. Uh, my second favorite is paprika. Scott. I'm a big fan of this as well. Now, this one, Andrew and I are both big fans of. We love this. We got this at Schwartz's in Montreal, and it's the... Um, potato and french fry seasoning and it's like it's just a delicious array of herbs and spices with a little bit of kick and uh, we're big fans of this one yeah so this is a recent addition to our spiciness but um, still it's a great one we like spices we like spices 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 now um, this one not you know this next it's a little bit less spicy but uh, it's Andrew's favorite he likes the milder, softer side of things, so his is basil, but uh, in order to keep things fresh, because, you know, you gotta keep things fresh. Woohoo! Um, we took this from, uh, we grow fresh basil, so we have fresh basil, and uh, of course one of our favorite tools is the mortar and pestle, it's just a little one. It's perfect because we don't cook huge meals, so it's just a little one. You ground it up, whether dry or fresh, and really just bring out the uh, flavor of the spices. <clears throat> so that's pretty much, you know, um, what we do. Uh, we did discover some of our favorite spices together during our eight years of marriage. Saffron. Um, we really fell in love with saffron in Spain and uh, and Turkey, and we had to buy tons and bring it back, and now we cook with saffron, especially when, makes, when, well, when Andrew makes uh, Spanish rice. He cooks with that. So, that's that. This is just a quick quickie. I love answering your questions. That, my friends, is how Andrew and I keep things spicy after eight years of marriage. I know this may have not been exactly the answer you had in mind when you asked that question, but it is my blog after all, so I reserve the right to answer the question any which way I choose.